Now, the On Your Side forecast with Marissa Morrison. Not the greatest start to a weekend. Very cold this morning. Taking a look at the Payette Lake Camp started at 26 degrees at about 720 AM, but some sunshine before clouds and more storms rolled in this afternoon. They got up into the 40s for highs today. It's cooling off now with some rain in the area. Taking a look at Stanley overnight snow on the sawtooth, so even more snow. We're dealing with rain in the valleys, but we, it could be worse in the areas that are getting snow. Very cold 30 this morning, some blue sky before more showers and maybe a little more snow even in the mountains rolled in this afternoon and taking a look at Sun Valley where they're dealing with a lot of flooding in the area. Warmer temperatures today so that snow is melting. They're melting. They're also getting just a little bit of rain as some scattered showers and isolated storms pass through the area. Currently in Boise it's 55 degrees, 42 in Baker City, 34 in McCall, 53 in Twin Falls and 48 degrees in Haley. So slightly warmer in Boise today than it was yesterday, but if we take a look to the east, Idaho Falls, 25 degrees cooler, Pocatello, 17 degrees cooler, Haley a little bit cooler today as well, which is good news for them. It's going to stop some of that snow from melting so quickly. Taking a look at our satellite and radar, expecting these showers to stick around on and off. We'll see some sprinkling, some scattered storms throughout the viewing area until about midnight tonight, and then the storms will start to die off. So taking a look at what we have going on around the state, flood warnings, what we're talking about, what we've been talking about, central Idaho, all this green you're seeing flood warning the Boise area as well and then for that purple area a freeze advisory in place as we look to the east so taking a look at our future cast those are those storms sticking around through tonight and then early tomorrow morning we should clear out so don't pack the umbrella for your Mother's Day brunch we will have some sunshine and slightly warmer temperatures for our Sunday taking a look at our true view forecast what we can expect tomorrow in the Treasure Valley 62 in Nampa 63 in Vail so a little bit cooler than the temperatures we saw last week Week. Remember, we were in the 80s last week, so much cooler than that, but still a pretty nice day. 62 in Boise for your high in the West Central Mountains. Partly cloudy, a chance of showers for some. 58 for the high in Idaho City. The McCall area could see some showers. 50 for their high, 62 in Riggins, 58 in Council for the high in the East Central Mountains. Even more snow could be on the way. Not as cold as it was today. 48 in Stanley, 56 in Fairfield, 52 in Sun Valley. And in the Magic Valley, the winds are dying down a bit, thankfully. 61 in Twin Falls, 61 in Shoshone and 62 in Burley. Taking a look at our extended forecast, we don't see the 80s again in the week ahead. 62 for your Sunday, a little bit warmer on Monday. Tuesday and Wednesday, we're expecting more shower activity. But then look at that as we head toward the weekend, we can put a smile back on our face in the Treasure Valley. We'll get in some warmer temperatures, but you know, the good news right now is that even though we're dealing with the colder temperatures, it's kind of holding back some of that snow from melting so rapidly. So really helping our friends in parts of the state that are dealing with that flooding not have to deal with so much, so much of the water coming down. Yeah, it was definitely cold out there at the Saturday market. So if you're going to brunch tomorrow morning, maybe a light jacket, but no umbrella. No needed. umbrella. We'll see some sunshine. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Marissa.